the puff, they will swallow and punch. Can't pay attention to the sounds of anyone. A little more stupid, a little more scared. Every minute, more I'm prepared. I'm not an academic and I don't claim to be. I like taking beautiful images or trying to take beautiful images. I think I really got interested in photography whilst I was studying graphic design at Vert. I actually saw like a final print that made me really interested in actually getting to taking the photo that would create that final print. I think it was more like looking at the final image and wanting to recreate that and finding out a way how. It wasn't like, let me see how this camera works. It would always be like I'd have an image in my brain. Like I'm really inspired by kind of like surreal environments, just in terms of elaborate set making and surreal concepts, almost like hyper real worlds. A specific shoot, nothing particularly conceptual. In terms of the brief, it was a very sort of loose brief. Uh, they wanted an environment for this girl, Mazette, who's an Afro pop artist. Just an environment that wasn't a studio, that, that was fairly neutral. We decided that some sort of texture was a, was a good idea. And I'd, I'd actually shot some of the 340mm stuff here, yeah. but there was no real concept. It was kind of CD sleeve um, images, quite, quite glamorous outfits for an Afro soul artist. This commercial work where an image doesn't necessarily say too much it is what it is, you know. And you know, I'm not trying to say too much in, in, that, in that sort of scope of things at all. I'm not pretending that we're trying to save the world. You know what I mean? We're making pictures. I don't believe in just being a commercial photographer at all. I think it's, it's a very sort of empty world if that's all there is. I think there's a lot to be said about commercial photography. I, I, think, I think it's an art form in itself. I think um, there's something amazing about it, but I, don't, like, I never feel that that's the be all and end all of what one should be doing. Like I don't, I don't know if there is like a true face to anybody. You know what I mean? Like, like I don't think something like that actually exists. I think one of my favorite photographs is um, I did a I did a series of portraits of Nam Sabenzi Tsotsobi. She she's the uh, women's rugby captain, and um, that was a, like an extremely subjective shoot. I kind of. I, w I kind of wanted to play on the cliche a lot. Like I love, like I love cliches. I, I love the visual language of props and and wardrobe and 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 that type of thing to tell a story in a way that that you want to tell it. Because of like her growing up in the Eastern Cape and kind of being the only black girl playing rugby, like she struggled through all the taboos you can imagine um, and. And was like, screw this, I'm doing this, I'm, I'm gonna play rugby, and and overcame it all. And, and she's this beautiful, like, like really feminine woman, but like this amazingly strong rugby player, and like amazingly strong person. And I kind of wanted to play on the the whole Africana, conservative Africana taboo of black people, let alone black females in rugby. And so we we shot it uh, in the in an old age home at this, next door to the stylist Grand's house. There's one shot from there where she's uh, she's in this like beautiful cream vintage dress and, and she's looking out of lace curtains like just outside like very like contemplative. For me, that's a really beautiful image. It's exactly what I wanted, how I wanted to portray her. I think I think it was a moment where where she was pretty much feeling 
very chilled. Like, I wasn't telling her to do anything. She was just like, she, it was in between shots, just like looking out the window type of thing. And for me, that's like one of my favorite images, just because I think I got it right. And it, well, not got it right, but got it right in terms of what I wanted to, to show. I think you could give the same set of circumstances, the, the same scenario to five different portrait photographers and you get a different response out of, out of the same subject. Although, like a lot of what I do is not documentary portraiture, it's very, very subjective portraiture in, in, a, in a way, because um, as soon as you're using props and sets and attaching some sort of meaning to that photograph, it's, it's, it's changed its meaning. It, it becomes your meaning, not their meaning, in a way. What I want to create is a very raw version of anybody I photograph. For me, I'm not interested in telling someone what to do. It's got to come from them, and, and if it doesn't, it doesn't. And if your vision isn't what, isn't what you got in the, in the final product, then so be it.